welcome or welcome back to the Lockbird Chronicles. My name is Larissa and let's do a day in my life on a beautiful, gorgeous, 70-ish degree day. <laughs> First of all, we're gonna get changed. I just got back from the gym. It was a beautiful, lovely leg day and it is currently 11.40. But I'm gonna get changed. I think I'm gonna wear one of my new Halara tennis dresses. I'm so excited. I will be playing pickleball, I think, at around three or four, but I figured we could just like go to a park, hang out, read, and just spend this beautiful day together, because why not? We're kind of doing like a ideal favorites day. Okay, let's look cute. Let's go to a park. Let's eat snacks. Let's read. Let's play pickleball. Let's have a great freaking day. In case you didn't watch my last vlog, this is the easy peasy Halara tennis dress. Like, look at the back. Isn't it cute? And look at that tan line that I have. Isn't that cute? And it has come to my attention that you can tell, you can spot a millennial with ankle socks. So I have my crew socks on. I used to wear them all the time in college. And then I went back to ankle socks, but I don't know. Let me, I brought my sneakers upstairs just to kind of see if I looked like a full on dork. Cause I might, I might switch back to my ankle socks. <laughs> I just feel like a dad. This, oh my gosh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> this is so goofy looking. Is it the wrong shoes? I see other girlies like wearing this stuff and it looks so cute on them. Do I just like not have the right calf leg? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I look ridiculous and I see all these girlies pulling it off. It can't be me. You let me know what I'm doing wrong. Stick with our basic ankle socks here. Normally I would wear white ones, but because I'm playing pickleball, my black ones are my athletic ones. No, oh, it looks goofy with my black socks, but I don't care. I'm wearing a black hat. I have a crop tuck. This is this one is really great for like bulky sweatshirts. Um, I do sometimes use it for sweaters, but it doesn't really hold like a half tuck sweater. So there is another one on the market that has like grippies and it looks more like a belt. And you can just use a belt too, but that one looks good for sweaters that are a little bit of a different material. I feel like it would hold a tighter tuck too. Yay! We got a lot of different pinks going on here. All right, let's go pack up our bag. Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to say, Thanks for stopping at Caribou Coffee. Is there a person coming to get your question to? Yeah, I actually have a pickup for Larissa. Larissa? Larissa with an L. Oh, Larissa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you too. Oh, she was so nice. Oh, what a cutie. Let's not die. Don't die. Alright, it. Cheers. Mm. Mm. I never get a large. But since we're having a fun day today, I thought I'd get crazy. Mm, 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 mm. I love bubble tea. We got the raspberry green bubble tea with oat milk, less ice because they put way too much ice in it otherwise. Hello, we just got to the park and this is so good. I have easily almost finished it. And that was me like taking my time. Uh, yeah, I got to a park kind of close to where I play pickleball or where I'm playing pickleball today, just in case I want to go over there early and just like jump in with whoever's playing. I think that would be kind of fun. Um, there are dandelions everywhere. <laughs> Not quite sure where I should go sit. It looks quite busy in like the main sitting areas and I would love to talk to you guys and pull out my camera every once in a while. Oh, I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze. Huh? <laughs> Many blessings. I'm just this surprised as you. Is this really happening? I can't be too sure. But one day I'll be yours again. One 
been so windy and I'm also currently getting over my fear of vlogging in public. There's so many people around. There's like two picnics going on just over there and the bathrooms are like right in front of me. So people are walking back and forth. I'm currently reading The Wrong Mr. Right by Stephanie Archer. Available on Kindle Unlimited. And this is part of her Queen Cove series. This is the second book. And her main characters are Hannah and Wyatt. And Wyatt is a cool guy, surfer bro, trying to go pro. Has a little surf shop in Queen's Cove. And Hannah has a bookstore. And it's not doing very well. It's her mom's old store and her dad doesn't want her to make any changes. So she's been in the red for almost a year now financially and it's just a struggle. Hannah is wanting to make some changes. She's going to be turning 30 and she just feels stuck. Like she is just living Groundhog's Day. Nothing is changing. She is shy. She doesn't like to get out much. She's just a nervous, nervous girly. Nervous introverted book girly. Her friend Ter Therese, I can't say it in French, but her friend Therese is like a French muse and wants her to like branch out and so Hannah's goal before she turns 30 she has three goals um, but one of them is to be a hot girl she is enlisting Wyatt's help to make her into a hot girl I had to move under the tree it was so hot in the sun I have sunscreen on but I'm guessing I'm also fried or starting to I'll put more sunscreen on I put the lotion stuff on today it's windy so I'm so sorry if you can't hear me I don't know where the mic is trying to block whatever sound but this book is just so cute. She had to... Let me just wait for it to calm down. One second. It's getting worse. Perfect. Okay, calm down a little bit, but it's gonna pick up as soon as I start recording. Um, so Hannah has to, quiet frog. So Hannah has to, her homework was to ask out 10 guys. He did not care if they were already married in a relationship, old, young, didn't matter. She just had to ask out 10 guys because she just needed to get used to the idea of rejection. But this is a small town. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. I would have, I would have thrown up or something, but it was funny. And this frog, I swear. All right, done at the park. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my friends to get here so we can go play pickleball. It looks like the courts are gonna be filling up fast. It's so windy out, so we'll see how it goes. It's so nice out though. It's like 80 something degrees right now and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. That was lovely. That was a fun time. Just laying, laying out in the sun, enjoying nature. Also, I'm just enjoying this book. It's just silly goofy. Wyatt is getting jealous and I love it. And he even admitted, he's like, I got jealous, okay? I'm sorry, it wasn't cool. And I'm like, no, it's totally cool. It's totally cool, Wyatt. You get jealous, boy. I also love that Hannah is starting to realize that in order for the bookstore to survive, she needs to implement her ideas and stop catering to her dad and making it a shrine for her mom. And her mom will always be present there, but she won't be if the store goes under. So Hannah's starting to take control. She's starting to gain confidence. She's starting to come out of her shell and just like, it's very subtle and that's realistic is like her coming out of her shell a little bit more each and every time. Running a bookstore, is probably so hard especially when you have competitors like Amazon but man I would love that I actually I think I would like to work in a library more because selling things makes me uncomfortable and I just feel like being in a library it'd be cool if it was like a library like bookstore with a coffee shop and just like a chill hangout section that would be nice that would be ideal I just got like really tired right now I've just been in the sun too long the other 11 is something from nothing Hello, we are back home. Played for so long. I am so tired. I'm so hungry. It is almost 7.30 and I am going to eat dinner. I have my strawberry fields salad with uh, honey mustard and raspberry vinaigrette dressing. Oh, so good. And pink orange 
with a little white chocolate for dessert. Pickleball was so fun. There was four of us. My friend Callie, she came a little bit later, so we snagged somebody that was had a group of five and they played with us for a little bit. We originally started on like the really crappy courts because all the other courts were full and we didn't have to wait too long to get a good court, which was great. It wasn't busy enough that we needed to rotate through, which was awesome. Ugh, it was just really nice to play and be outside. I didn't play my best. I didn't play my worst, but Oh, it was it was exhausting. I just I just had like such a great day. I just love being outside. I love being able to just read in the park and relax as well as like hang out with my friends and spend time with people. It's just so fun. I'm just I'm so pleased. What a great day. So thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna eat my dinner and we're gonna call it a wrap on this little mini day in my life vlog. While I don't always do day in the life vlogs, um, I usually do reading vlogs. Feel free to stick around, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other upcoming videos as well as like this video. And with that being said, respect others, respect yourself and do something amazing with your day. Thanks, bye.